Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we will be covering the fourth tab within the cyclopedia, the map. This map is similar to the small mini-map in the top right of the client. It allows you to scroll through the Tibian world and go up and down levels to view areas you have previously explored. You can see any active raids and areas that have increased respawn. When selecting an area such as Thias, Carlin, Edgeron, etc., there are small sub-areas within them. If you select the Start Discovering button on the left side, it will spread 7 points of interest randomly throughout this sub-area. All you have to do is walk up to them to discover them. As you start fully discovering sub-areas, it will increase the overall percentage of the area. You can only be discovering one sub-area at a time, and if you start discovering a new sub-area, you will lose any progress on the last one unless you have completed it. This can also be used to restart an area if you're having trouble finding the last point or two. You'll have to find all points again, but it may save you time in the long run if you think you have checked the whole sub-area and are still struggling. Once you unlock 30% of the sub-areas, NPCs will be shown on the map. 70% will show a stairs icon on the map to show you where you can change levels within the sub-area. And once you fully unlock an area by discovering the points of interest in all sub-areas, you'll be able to see the creatures that spawn within these sub-areas. Most importantly though, you'll have a 1 hour notice before any announced raid or boss takes place in the area. Any raids will appear as an exclamation mark, with pending raids having an exclamation mark with a circle around it. This makes it beneficial to unlock areas such as Edron, Liberty Bay, and Svargrond, so you can get advance notice before bosses like Orshpale, Ferumbris, Morgoroth, or Gazbaran spawn. At the 1 hour notice, you will not know for sure, but as it gets closer to the raid time, it will narrow down the sub area so you can be ready if it seems like a strong boss is coming. This will not notify you of any unannounced raids such as the Midnight Panther, Undead Cave Bear, Orc raids on Femur Hills, etc. In the bottom left of this tab, you have the ability to donate gold to an area. Once 10 million gold has been donated to an area, it will unlock increased respawn in that area for the next server save though this does have a chance to unlock randomly every day. You can determine if an area has the increased respawn by checking for the icon by the name on the map. Hopefully this can help you better understand the map, points of interest, and increased respawn system. See you in the next video.